to a new FG Radio Late Night Sessions. We got your boy McFly like always. Cole. Turn up. Our guest tonight, we got the Burbs. What up? Chiliano Burbs. How you doing? <laughs> the Faded Kid. Also repping the Faded Penguin. Enjoy your evening. Happy Life Jack. The Burbs. All right. Uh, how did y'all become a group, meet up, and all that? Mm, well, I mean, I, I guess it started off like Jay and Alex were doing some shit together, like some music shit. And uh, one day, just Alex just hit me up, talking about he wanted some beats and shit. But I was like, man, if you're trying to do this music shit, like. I'm trying to be about it, you feel me? I'm trying to do this group thing, like, I'm trying to, like, actually be doing something legit. So, you feel me? Yeah. I don't know Jay since, like, the third grade and, like, on and off through the years, me and him just been rapping with each other back and forth. And so, like, the stuff Sawyer was, Chiliano was talking about beforehand was... Chiliano. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff me and him was stuff me and Jay was rapping beforehand. So then um, Chiliano dropped the beat tape, right? And as soon as he dropped it, he dropped it on our site. I was like, man, this shit is, this shit is legit. I thought like he was like someone that could do something. Be you know as big as Pharrell, Kanye, rapping with Jay. So I was like, you know, Jay definitely should be a part of it. Because me and Jay was like a one-two combo. At first, Chiliano was just making the beats, but then he started spitting and started going. So that's how we became a conglomerate of three. So where did y'all get the name the Bird from? This dude. I mean, we just, I mean, we speak to some kids <laughs> from the suburbs, so we was like, I mean, we didn't want to, we didn't want to think of nothing crazy, like, um, just something crazy that wouldn't make no sense, you know, we just kids from the suburbs trying to tell a story about the suburbs. It's a few cats that rap, but like, no one really reps the burbs, they all rep their individual things, we're trying to bring it together as a whole. True. And what got you into making beats? Mm. Man, I mean, I've just been doing music all the time since I was a kid, like, violin when I was like six started playing guitar when I was 13 like fucked around with, like piano and shit um I just like rap music uh I don't know if you heard of them Cannibal Ox they had this uh, album called the cold vein like I listened to it it's like no other sounding like hip-hop I've never even heard anything like that and it really like just inspired me to start making beats Jay, you over there quiet, man. <laughs> I was about to say, yeah, man, but yeah, I heard this beat, like I said, he threw the little uh, beat tape on the, <clears> um, on the faded, on the faded side or whatever, and everybody went crazy off of it. As soon as I heard it, I was like, oh yeah, like I said, he said he was on for real level. That's what he came to me with, like you know, I think he can be crazy as for real and shit like that. So once I heard that, I was so like, all right, we can get done with it. Now, what's one of the hottest beats you heard from me? Cause y'all all these hot crazy. Uh, <laughs> man, we heard, like, man, I remember we were sitting at my crib and he played. We got the song all fucked up, and he put Ooh, that shit on. Yeah, yeah, he put that beat on, man, yeah, and like the shit. hook just came though. Like we just started rapping that shit. I, was I wrote like, the hook. The I wrote fuck? the hook. Put that on. Yeah, I was like, what the <laughs> fuck, man? This bitch outrageous though, man. But yeah, that's the first time. Like you know, that was one of our first tracks we did or whatever. Like the third or fourth track we did. So when I when I heard that, first okay, the first beat that did it for me. He got this beat called Success. We like we um rap to a while ago, but like we didn't drop it on our first EP. That was the one that did it for me. Shit just spoke to me off bell. So speaking of your first EP, like what's the difference? Like, have y'all grown as artists from this to y'all new project that's coming up? Definitely. Yeah, definitely. definitely. I think so. We've been coming up with better concepts. Musically, like we've been putting b together better tracks, everything really. The beats are better too. Yeah. I think I think that's why we dropped the EP because we knew you know we was just starting off, so we knew we was gonna grow as artists. So we didn't want to give away you know too much. True. We just wanted to do a little EP and we can move on from there. Now, as a group, who would y'all say inspires y'all as a whole? Because I know individually y'all probably got y'all own people, but as a group, who would y'all say? No, as another group, I never personally thought about it like that, honestly. I think we just like, I don't know, like we just rap. Yeah, like, we're we just, <laughs> just rap. We're gonna try to compare ourselves. We're just trying to do our, like this group shit in our own way. 
but like if I, I guess if I could say anybody like the cool kids kind of like once they like cool first kids. hit the scene like I mean I don't know if all y'all listen to it but Gone Fishing was the one that put them on but before that I was messing with like cool ass ninjas that um mix what was the mix that they dropped on Christmas like Santa Claus was like all lit up you know pack did stuff like that about to say anybody our own styles or whatever but we can still come you know combine and make a solid track together you know? yep. now which one of y'all is the best rapper me <laughs> me <laughs> That's one of the best things about being in a group though. I mean like we love the competition before yeah, like he's, he's always like man I'm about to go hard to you on this track man you better be I keep real, I keep and I do I keep real and I do I don't know about all that I keep real Sawyer went Chiliano went at me on one track he definitely went at me What track is that? It's just, it was on our first EP called Arcade Days. Arcade Days. Yeah. He went at yeah. me. Yeah. And like, I ever since that. that shit. Yeah, yeah. Well, well. <laughs> yeah, that's when I, that's, that's, that's when I accepted him, though, as a rapper. Like, like he said, he would just start it off doing the beats. Like, I remember it was a day, like, he was like, man, I don't even want to rap, man. I'm good, man. Mm -hmm. Then one right. day he was just like, fuck it, like, I want to rap or whatever. Then he came with that verse. I was like, all right. All right, man. now, speaking of Arcade Days. Playing these hoes like Pac-Man, I'm I'll probably gonna fuck it up. Playing these hoes like this Pac-Man, let her gobble my balls, balls up. up. <laughs> Say it, what's the line? Play these hoes like Pac-Man, let her gobble balls up. Hit it left, right, pats. Wait. Hit stick left, right, action. <laughs> so, ah, oh, dog, I it forgot. It was a while ago. Man. All right, now I say I'd like to ask y'all, what's your favorite video games and shit? Oh. Shit, I'm a true 90s kid, man. Give me, like, fucking... Mario Kart for the 64. 64. The That's old true. 007. Give me a whole skater on the 64. Tony, yeah, you can't beat Tony Hawk. I mean, I'm, I'm a fan of skating too. I'm a 2K <laughs> man, man. That's why I ain't even, you know, I heard the beat and I, I know Al, he are off birth wanted to do a concept like that. So I was just like, you know, go ahead. I Power Rangers like game that. for the Sega for the first movie. Well, I haven't lose. That was classic. Double Dragon. Shit. No, can't Double Dragon. Dragon Power Ranger. Shit. Toe Jam and Earl. I almost forgot about that one. I ain't fuck with that. What? Man, that's what I'm saying, man. You lucky I dick don't cool no. So do y'all believe in that Madden curse? Cause football season come back around. Y'all believe in the Madden curse? I did when I was yeah. young, man, but yeah, I mean it is what it is, man. I don't even play video games anymore. No, not for real. <laughs> I don't know. I think people had to get to them, which kinda make them fuck up. I think it's all in your head, but I don't think it's like no. Oh what what Barry Sanders on the cover this year, so what's that gonna be to say? I mean I don't know, nigga might fall down some stairs, man. No, <laughs> it's never too late to fuck yourself up. Fair. Hey, you definitely won that one. Speaking of new material, is the Money uh, Mitch track gonna be on your next project? Possibly. Yeah, we um, it's like it's like the first thing what we did with the first EP. We probably recorded like maybe like 20, 30 tracks and picked those six. Money mm -hmm. Mitch is just one of the tracks that might possibly be on it. You like that one? Oh, that's my crap. Yeah, that's my concept. That's that that my like concept. Like, that shit appreciate is crack, that. man. Oh, yeah, that was our concept, man. I appreciate that. that. Yeah, I appreciate it though, man. All right, now, now what y'all got coming up next? Like, what's the next move that y'all making? That's like everybody needs to know about this. Well, July 6th, we're playing at Hip Hop and Hipsters. Be there. Um, just more music, visuals. A lot of visual. yeah. visuals. Yeah. After that, then we're going to start doing like, like, you, like Jay said, we kind of like a TDE. So, like, as the group, we drop in um, our next mixtape. But uh, we're going to start doing individual things too. Right. So, you know, get like our solo fans and our group fans, bring oh, them yeah. together. Parties too. Parties? Yeah. Y'all about to start throwing parties? Yeah. We trying, we talking about it, you know. Oh man, y'all got to come and see him. Definitely, yeah, my family down there. Mansion party, like shit like that, you know, not no club shit. Oh, I'm definitely down with mansion yeah, party. Yeah. 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 Sounds cool to me. Mansion party. You, you can't say no to a mansion party. Yeah, like, mm. Trying to go to a mansion party. I never looked at a movie and they had a mansion party and it was no bitches there. Right. So. Yeah. <laughs>